What's up, Scorpio? It is Black Madonna HP with Table Etiquette. How are you guys doing? So, I am bringing you a love energy update for you and your person. Kind of see how you guys are vibing, what you guys are, are up to at this time. El Diablo wanted to hop out the deck, so it could be some toxic energy going on here, Scorpio. But Scorpio, go ahead and pull up a chair and let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Spirit, what message do you have for my Scorpios? Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty. So we have intuition. We have awareness. We have sacrifice. So, Scorpio, a lot of mind energy here. We have the high priestess, um, the magician, and also the hangman. So, a lot of thinking into a person, into a subject. Um, to be very intuitive at this time, intuitively guided, but let's go ahead and clarify the energy before we and dodge too far. So Sarah, what message do you have for Scorpio regarding that person? What message do you have for my Scorpios regarding their person, please? What message do you have for my Scorpio regarding their person? Okay, that one right there. Okay. 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 Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. So, Scorpio, for intuition, we have experiencing and the creator. A lot of fire energy there, Scorpio. So, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign. We also have change and intensity for the magician and we have control and completion for sacrifice so who went cold on you Scorpio and ended this relationship got you on hold kind of trying to figure out what to do next Scorpio but what I feel like Scorpio is you know, you're very intuitive at this time. Very, very much. Your crown chakra is on point. Um, what you uh, what you feel that you need to do is on point. But what I do see is that there's so much passion inside of you that you may not be utilizing because something either ended or came to a change. It, it's messing with your ability to manifest. It's messing with your ability to move forward, Scorpio. Well, let's see here. All right. So for experiencing, we have the Six of Swords. For the Creator, the Four of Swords. For change, the Five of Swords. For intensity, the Queen of Pentacles. For the control, we have the Nine of Wands. And for completion, we have the Ace of Wands. And we have you, the Queen of Cups, at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, beloved. So, all this mind energy, right? Not being properly utilized. Okay. Because... You know, instead of instead of you taking action, you kind of unpause 
waiting for this person and yeah maybe maybe all the drama and the conflict and all that type of stuff changed you but you need to stay progressive and your endeavors or whatever this is that I'm speaking in reference to it's like when this person would code on you like you just totally just put up your guards and you know just kind of stop doing what you was doing you know like you need to get that spark of passion back that you had um, before you met this person you need to use that intuition to guide you into the place where you need to go next Scorpio because when we sit here and and we become stagnant in our energy due to circumstances we miss out we might miss out on great opportunities or great people or something like that Scorpio but let's see here let's clarify these cards a little bit deeper okay so for Scorpio so for intuition we have service for awareness we have conversation for sacrifice we have foe for experiencing we have friend for the creator we have the merchant for change we have love for intensity we have money for um, control we have the soldier for completion we have frivolous for the six of swords we have thoughts for the four of swords we have sorrow for the five of swords we have journey for the queen of pentacles we have house for the nine of wands we have lover and for the ace of wands we have prison and it, of course exactly what i was saying at the bottom of the deck we have someone being what in their constancy just in there being stagnant not moving not taking action so scorpio you've been in this energy for a while right you've you probably were the type of person that did too many things for this individual right but you forgot about your passions your goals and what was important to you you know uh like you have went through like a mourning phase for this person it's more of an energy like um I don't know if, if, if you guys know any of the biblical scriptures, but it's like in that part in the Bible where, you know, um, where uh, Saul, where Saul was messing up with God and so on and so forth. And then uh, uh, the prophet came and told, um, God came and told the prophet, you know, why are you mourning over, you know, Saul? I have chosen someone, a man after my own heart, so on and so forth. So it's you kind of in that type of energy, like, you know, you're letting your passions and stuff, because how do you go from all this fire energy to cold? You know, even I mean, even the completion card is cold, you know, like what happened? Did you allow this connection to take your passion away? Because I see that you were very committed to this relationship, that, you know, there was a lot of conflicts and different things that kind of affected you and that, you know, you love this person, but it kind of came to an end. It may have been, you know, it was too many people involved in your connections, too many people with things to say about you, about your person, so on and so forth. And maybe maybe people was allowed to intervene in the connection but here you are scorpio sitting in the prison don't know where to start trying to get your spark back it's like scorpio you know this this whoever this lover energy was that you had to put your guard up on guess what beloved this ain't nothing but a ten of wands here right that's all it is. And that is that bag lady, bag man energy. You know, you're carrying around baggage. No one wants to date anyone with baggage. You know, go ahead, take care of the baggage, whatever. But, you know, um, you being in this energy is like an enemy to you, okay? Whoever this soldier energy is, this is a cold person. You could have been dealing with the, um, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or something like that Scorpio but you need to get your passion back your fire back whatever was taken from you um, within this connection you need to go ahead and get that back beloved because no person is worth your passion your ambitions your goals things that are valuable to you right let's get some more energy on this
Let's get some more energy on this, please. Alrighty. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ace of Discs. And we have the motherfucking Ace of Eight of Cups. Now, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm not a big cusser, usually, in my readings or whatever. But after all of that, person just walked away from you, huh? Left you hanging. So, it wasn't at all what it seemed, right? Like, you thought you were going to have this new beginning, this new start. Like, this is my person, me and this person, whatever. But this person ups and leaves you hanging goes completely cold and silent on you and that is just horrible whoever energy i'm reading whoever did this to that person that's just horrible like i'm not sure what happened in this connection but for a person to just go from a ten of cup to an eight of cup it's like damn where where'd the love go did you ever love me because does love just walk away from you scorpio does it really but let's see here, Scorpio. What else? What messages do we have for Scorpio person, please? Oh, okay. So I want to marry you. I want to make love to you. And I'll watch you from a distance. Scorpio. Yeah. Scorpio. Okay, this is your energy. This is how you're feeling about this person. Because that's why you are watching this tarot, because you watch this person from a distance. But you want to marry a person that walked out and left you hanging. For some unknown reason, Scorpio, you know the reason. Could have been this Queen of Pentacles that's here, Scorpio. But, I mean, when you think about this, six of swords and this four of swords this these thoughts and sorrow that's a lot of mental energy did this person gaslight you scorpio or something just yeah scorpio let's get a, a food for thought for you to go ahead and end this reading because yeah i'm sorry for whatever this person did to you and sometimes when i'm passionate about my readings i can come off a little harsh but um I'd rather be the teacher than just the tarot, you know? Like, certain things, it's like a complete no the second time around. There's some things. And a person leaving you, Scorpio, or Crosswatcher, in that energy, no. So, what do we have here? Growth. Okay, so it says... Growth requires you to step out of your comfort zone. Growing pains can make you, oh, I'm sorry. Growing pains can help you in gaining wisdom and experience. The old must be left behind before the new can begin. Scorpio, my beloved, there you are again, stagnant with all that passion still left inside of you. Look, look at the colors that's around her. That is passion. Look how beautiful she is. Beloved, get up, get up and get going like Stop mourning over Saul when you have a David coming, okay? Okay, my beloved. But Scorpio, that is the reading I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching uh, the Table Atticus with Black Madonna HP. And Scorpio, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the video. Until next time, beloved. Take care.